was around 17, 18, and uh, I got to got in trouble. A bit of road rage when I was uh, driving around on my motorcycle. I spent a day in jail, or a night in jail. Uh, I got out, it was crazy, felt horrible, and uh, nothing cool about it whatsoever. Well, when I went to uh, go get some real food, I saw a family of uh, Brazilians. They're all wearing uh, their cup of uniforms. So I asked them if they did that around there. Very rudely, they told me they did. And, um, and I was there the next day at the, their academy, when we started training Capoeira. That was about uh, 12 years ago. So I got into Capoeira, Capoeira got me into Jiu-Jitsu, Jiu-Jitsu got me into MMA, and MMA got me where I'm at today. It's my job, uh, hopefully my career. So. MMA has taught me how to do a lot of things, uh, working with a team, being a coach, uh, training, preparing myself physically, mentally for pretty intense stuff. A lot of people think that fighting is mostly physical, it's mostly mental. So you can <coughs> teach yourself and coach others on how to mentally prepare to get into a cage with someone and like fight until one wins and one loses. You'd be okay with it and want to do it, actually, then uh, you can pretty much prepare yourself mentally. How do I prepare? Um, depending on the opponent, uh, I prepare depending on his fighting style and I try to work it in my own fighting style. I've been a professional fighter for about four years now. My last fight was two months ago. I fought in Atlanta. I was supposed to fight two weeks ago, but uh, my opponent and I couldn't agree at weigh-ins. So now I'm going to be competing in a strongman competition in uh, November, which I think is about the next evolution of uh, the deal for me. I help my other guys train and get ready for fights, but I, myself, I can compete in the strength competition. It's, it's affecting my life. Uh, it is my life. You know, I, I work at an MMA gym. Uh, I train MMA fighters. I corner MMA fighters. I'm an MMA fighter. So really, everything I do in life is centered around MMA. Before a fight, like weeks out, you know, you just get, you get really motivated. Right before a fight, though, like the day of, as I'm sitting in the locker room waiting, it's a miserable experience. I start thinking about why I'm doing this. I start second guessing myself a lot, and uh, it's scary. Um, during a fight, usually everything's pretty clear. Um, you don't think a whole lot, especially once you get hit. Um, you're just trying to outpoint the guy, outstrike him, you know, out wrestle him, that sort of thing. Um, I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to explain. Your mind kind of floats off, and you just kind of go into the zone and fight. Two and a half years ago, I lost all love for the sport. Coming back here has really ignited me to do that. I, now since I'm going to compete at Worlds and I'm training real hard for that, right after that I'm going to do a, a strongman competition. So everything that I've, that they've taught me here and it's just really ignited that, that fire again. I'm able to look out and compete again and, and do more stuff than just train. When you start teaching, you're going to continue to do MMA, correct? Yeah, absolutely. If I could support myself just teaching martial arts, MMA, and competing, I would totally do that. But I love teaching in general, so I'm a sports teacher. I would teach anything as long as I'm helping people, guiding people, which is just who I am. Martial arts in general has been my life, pretty much my entire life. I guess I don't really know what my life would be like without it. What do you like most about teaching the kids' classes? Hugs? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, really, just like the, the random little things that they say that just catch me off guard. Like, I love those moments in class when I'm going to do something and we're, you know, we're all having a good time all week. They'll say something and I just completely lose my train of thought and I just, just start dying laughing. And just, you know, it just doesn't happen at all. Really, the kids are, are, are fun. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit challenging. But it's, it's very rewarding because once you teach them something, they turn and say, oh, I, I learned this today, you know, and it's, to me that's very rewarding. We usually have some kind of weekly goal, something that we always want to hit every day, every time. That way when they move up in the ranks and they move up to an adult, they already know how to execute the techniques. Uh, so many life lessons. You know, the mixed martial arts, the part of the mixed martial arts, all this is the martial arts. Uh, people forget that. The martial arts just teach you humility, they teach you respect, they teach you to believe in yourself. And if you're lacking in that area, it teaches you to try hard and uh, push through even when you're down on points, and that can be applied to any aspect of life. And if you don't quit, you try your hardest.
next day, you make it work and come back on top. Our philosophy is uh, like a lot of high school sports, you want to compete, you want to have great success, you want to have great results, but you can't do any of that if you're not having fun, if you don't have a great team, and you don't have a great family inside of your gym. A lot of people want to win at all costs and they forego the friendships and family that you make inside of a gym. We have the awesome ability to manage those both dualities of the gym. We can have a lot of fun on one side and a lot of champions. Uh, it's just like a high school sport, it's half of that is building your your friends and relationships and uh, future life lessons that you learn being part of such a great successful team. We have such a mix of us, on schedule, we have kickboxing, we have grappling, we have fitness, we have fitness and little gorillas. Uh, just like the jungle, there's so many different animals in here. I think the jungle is a very appropriate animal. I just, I just want to invite everybody to come down to the jungle. Um, myself and Seth would love to have anybody out there, all ages, all uh, fitness levels, all experience levels. Come by and check us out. So be part of the family. We can't wait to meet everybody. Coffee shop, the same place, and call it Grounds and Pounds.